that platforms are actually multi-sided in nature. They are not just, they don't just have a single producer and, and a consumer. A lot of platforms are very complex. How do you build platforms using this approach? Very, uh, putting it in a very simple way, the way I think of it is, if you think of LinkedIn as a multi-sided platform today, it has all of these different kinds of users plugging into the platform and playing with the platform. If you think of LinkedIn, LinkedIn was not built one side at a time. It was actually built one interaction at a time. So you can actually build out a multi-sided platform, building it one interaction at a time in the mechanism or in, in the model that I, I just showed. Think of LinkedIn, it started with professionals interacting with professionals. So there was a very specific kind of interaction between two, two parties. LinkedIn enabled that. What LinkedIn captured in this interaction was data because it got all of, data, all of the data about the various professionals. That data helped it set up the filter for the next interaction, which was recruiters interacting with professionals. Jobs being served to users based on the data that they had already entered. And LinkedIn realized that the repeatability of the interaction is very important. And for repeatability, you need to make this a daily habit. And LinkedIn today is not a daily habit. So then they layered another interaction. It's, it's, uh, the jury is still out on whether that interaction is very useful. I, I actually removed all of the uh, LinkedIn thought leadership posts that I get. But the idea of LinkedIn doing this was how, how can we layer an interaction that increases the engagement on the platform? So essentially, one interaction at a time, LinkedIn created a multi-sided platform. So the unit of analysis for a platform to me is not a side. It is an interaction because the unit of value creation is not a side. It is an interaction. I, I believe this is really important today because the future, if we believe in platforms, is going to be interaction first. We've already seen this happening in various industries. Telecom pipes move to platforms. Accommodation, hotels working on a pipe model are struggling to, and being disrupted. And we've, we've seen this in traditional publishing and a whole range of industries. The idea essentially is that if we still think that platforms are about building technology, we've got it wrong because platforms are about enabling interactions.